So I'm a broke ass bitch, as you guys know. Ow! I burnt myself. So first I'm gonna go with my professional primer from Benefit. Always use this. And ugh, it squeezes out so weird. And putting that everywhere, I have a lot of pores. Oh, I already have my brows done, but I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I use this Ardell brush, and it has a spoolie on it, and use that to comb through my brows. For foundation today, I'm mixing the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade Ivory. Mixing it with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Dewy and Smooth one, and it's in the shade Porcelain. To first apply this, I'm going to use my damp beauty blender and apply that everywhere I think I need it, which is everywhere. I just put it in random spots. Now I'm going to take this stipple brush and buff that onto my face and then blend. I washed all my brushes last night and this is kind of really hard like harder than it usually is so now i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and a little bit more product and put that on my face as well also i'm not going to show the full clip of me doing my makeup like every product that i use and stuff because if i did it would be really long and i want this video to be kind of short because i am going to show you my makeup my hair and my outfit you know I'm doing kind of a dewy look. So for my under eye concealer, I'm using the Other Girl Pro Concealer. And this is the shade Porcelain. And I'm gonna apply lines. Take me away. And I'm gonna take the Damp Beauty Blender again and just blend that all out. Take to cover my blemishes, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. And applying that everywhere I have blemishes. I'm really broken out for some reason and I have no idea why. But that's okay. Self-confidence is key. Taking my damn beauty blender again and blending that out. For a dramatic contour look, I'm going to go in with my oh contour and blush palette and using the contour shade and my real techniques blush brush i do that in every video um and applying that to my cheeks i don't like to apply a lot of this because i am going to go back in with con contour but this just gives your face a more bronzier look instead of contouring my forehead i'm going to bronze my forehead To contour my face, I'm using my baby, and it's the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm using the shade Havana. It's this last shade right here, and applying that right on the line of my cheekbone. Tip for applying your contour, if you want it to blend easier, try to blend it in with the brush first, just a little bit, then blend it in with a beauty blender. To contour my nose, I'm going back in with the shade and using this flat brush and applying it that way because it's much easier. Now I'm going to blend that all in. So, since I want to do a dewy look and not a matte look, I'm using the Cody Air Swan powder, but I'm not going to bake under my eyes like I normally do. I'm just gonna bake under my contour, my chin, and on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. Okay, now I let that sit five to 10 minutes. I'm probably five because I don't want it to be too dry or overpowering. So I'll see you guys when it's finished baking. 
So now I'm just gonna wipe away the bake using this expert face brush from Row Techniques. To set the rest of my face, I'm using this Bare Minerals brush. It's just a fluffy brush and the CoverGirl True Blend powder and setting that everywhere and it set the bake. Now onto eyes, I wanna do an orangey brown gold kind of tone. So I'm gonna go with my Lorac Pro 3 palette. It's the shade Clay. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the shade Rock Coda or something and apply that in my crease. That is more orangey than I thought it would be, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Clay from the same palette. I forgot to blend some of my contour my nose. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go back in with Cool Taupe and put that just right in my crease. One of the brushes I use, it shed a lot. But I go back in with more powder on my face after I finish my eyes. Now to blend that out, I'm going back in with the same crease, crease brush that I used before and just blending. Now using this brush again, I'm going back with Cool Taupe and putting that in my inner corners and not in the center. Now for the center of my lid, I'm going in with the Tardius Pro Palette and I'm gonna use the shade F3. Ow, <laughs> that just landed on my finger. Yeah, this shade. My nails are so shitty, I'm too lazy to paint them, so. With my All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban K. Spraying it three times, like I always do, and applying that shade to my center. For my bottom lash line, I'm going in with the Lorac palette again, and I'm gonna use the shade Clay that we used before and applying that. Open. Beside that, I'm going back in with the glittery shade and applying that right next to Clay. For liquid liner, I'm using the NYX black liner and lining my eyelid as well as doing a wing. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys after. For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline The Fossies Vime Express Mascara, applying that to my top and bottom lashes. For my bottom liner, I'm using the NYX bottom liner. I use the same products in every video, that's why I don't do much makeup tutorials. But I wanted to show you guys how I got ready for Easter, so that's why I'm filming this video. And I'm not gonna press down hard, so it's not too harsh. Now I'm gonna go apply my lashes, and I'm using the Ardell Double Up Lashes and my Duo Lash Glue, which I have no idea where it is right now, but I'll find it, and I'll see you guys after. And we're gonna finish my blush, highlight, and powder. So I'm gonna go back in with the True Blend Powder from CoverGirl. And I'm gonna take this brush and apply more of this. I didn't like the Bare Minerals brush because it shed a lot and didn't put the product on very well. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush and apply it under my eyes. Also, I'm a broke ass bitch, as you guys know. So I, I don't, I can't afford new lashes. So these are shitty. Um, now I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweetheart's blush and this elf angled brush, blush, brush, and applying that to my cheeks. Okay, now for highlight, I'm using the Becca Highlighter in Pearl. It's a white shade. It's shitty as fuck, but. I'm um, applying that to the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. It sounds like I'm singing. Um, and what is this called? Cheek? Hi, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this is. For a more blinding glow, I'm going in with my All About Strobe palette. And as I do in all of my makeup videos, apply this right on top of that highlight I just did. Also, I apply that on top of my eyebrows. I'm gonna apply that 
in my inner corners as well. Find the brush, that'd be nice. Okay, it's this one, the Anastasia brush. I'm gonna apply that in my inner corners. You guys know how I like my highlight. I like a blinding AF. And on my brow bone. Just a little bit on my brow bone. For my lips, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris lip liner. I'm just lighting my lips. I'm gonna put this on just to show you guys. Red lip shade. Just in case you want to do this look, but also add the red lip. Here's what the red lip looks like. Take this off and go in with the NYX Andre lip gloss and baby doll for a more subtle look. This is a more bold look if you want this look. Go for the red lip, but if you want a more subtle look, go for like a light nude or like a light pink. The red's a little stained on my lips, but that's okay. Last thing I'm gonna do is just comb through my brows with this Maybelline Brow Drama. I don't know what this is called. Oh, Sculpting Brow Mascara. And just sculpt through my brows in case any foundation or anything got in them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but something with my makeup made it look really muddy and patchy under my eyes. I don't know what did it, but I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know. But to set my face, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't know if this does anything, but I use it to make me feel better. This is the finished look. Now on to how I got my hair like this. For my hair, it's pretty much already done. But what I did is I used this Conair Instant Heat Curling Wand. But instead of using a wand, the wand part, like the this clamp, I used it as a wand. But I'll show you guys in a second. This is the three and four inch wand. But first I spray my hair with this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Flat Iron Heat Protection Spray. And I spray that. I'm just gonna touch up my hair a little bit because it is the curls that come out. And I just, I brushed through my curls last night. So I just take a little part of my hair and wrap it around for like a few seconds. And if you didn't already know, I do have hair extensions because of a bleaching accident. So yeah. These are the Luxie hair extensions. I ordered them online. They're really good. When I got them, they were so smooth. They had a weird smell to them though. If you guys want, I can do a review on the hair extensions, how much they cost and stuff like that. Now, I've had them for about, I don't know, five months maybe. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Unplugged. My hair is kind of, it blends in with my romper, so you can't really see what it looks like. Got unplugged, so now I have to turn it back on. If you guys want a separate video on how I comb my hair, I can definitely do that and go more in depth. Also, like, do you hear my sister's breath and coughing in the back? He's really well. Ow! I burnt myself because I, I was testing to see if it was still hot. I'm almost done. So that's it for my hair. What I like to do is flip my hair a few times, like I'll show you. <sighs> so I flip it twice and then bring it all to the front and then brush the top of my hair. So you can't tell right now, but here are the curls. I'll show you guys outside when I film my outfit so you guys can see my hair more. But yeah, let's go on to my outfit.
in the circles, never leave me alone. Say I don't answer the messages, I pick up my phone. Say we all need some time just to settle down, won't you come? That is the end of my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave it a request below, subscribe. Go check out my last video. It was a collab to have a great Easter. I know what Easter is about if you don't Google it. So it's not all about the food or the gift baskets or whatever. Stay happy. Bye, guys. I just got freaking lash glue in my eye. That hurts so bad.